Realtors, and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia, and we are so happy to be with you today. Monty and I have created a card holder that we know you are going to love. You can add four to eight cards in this card holder, and I think you're really going to like it. Now, we've designed two, and let me show you one. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? We used our little strawberry cutouts to put on this one, but we also created one that used Forever Ferns. Now, we all love the Forever Ferns stamp set, don't we? So we will show you that at the very end. So stay with us, but let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started with the one we are going to create today. The first thing you will need to do is cut a piece of paper six and a half by seven and three fourths. And remember, all the measurements will be listed over on our blog. So go ahead and take out your trimmer. And once you have cut this paper, go ahead and score it one inch on all sides. This is going to create the bottom of your card holder. And it is so easy to make. This would be perfect if you have a card swap or a bunch of friends that you want to give this to because it is so quick. And we are going to go ahead and use our bone folder and crease each one of these score lines. Now, you want to make sure and give yourself a good crease, particularly when it is a holder, whether it's a candy box or a note card box, because you really need that crisp edge. So now we have everything creased. We are going to just simply cut up right here this little tab right to the score line. And what I like to do is just flip it over and cut exactly the same score line. Now you don't want a lot of bulk when you put this together so we're just going to take each one of these tabs and we're going to cut out just a little slice of pizza on either side. See how that is? Now we're going to move over to this side. Just cut a little slice of pizza. Now, you either want to use tear and tape or you want to use your tape machine. And we are going to put it over on its back just like this and we're going to put tape on each side. If you use the liquid glue, it doesn't really hold it as well as this will or the tear and tape. And we are just going to line that up and hold it. Line up the other side. Before you do the last tab, you want to make sure and cut your little half moon right here. So we know this is going to be the front of our tray. So I'm going to turn it right here and just slip this in. Line it up right in the middle. And there we have it. And now just go ahead and get those glued down. Look how easy that is. Everything is holding really well. And now we are going to create the top part of this box. So we're going to set that to the side. You're going to cut a piece of paper that is a four by eight and a half. And then you're going to score on one and a half on each side. So you're just going to put it in the long way, score it at one and a half, go ahead and score it down, turn it one and a half again, 
and do this on each side. Now we need to make some cuts. Go ahead and use the bone folder and get all your creases made really nicely. Remember, you want to use your bone folder because it will give you that nice crease that you need. You'll go ahead and turn your paper just like this. Get your scissors out and then turn it sideways. And we need to go ahead and cut right up to the score line right here. Flip it over and cut right up to the score line. Now remember how I cut little slices of pizza? You're gonna do that on these two tabs right here. You're gonna leave the middle one alone. So let's go ahead and do that. Turn it over, do the same thing on the two outside tabs. We like making these for our friends because they're so fast and yet they make such a wonderful statement. Now we are going to go ahead and cut just a little bit off. So you can take about half of this one off and take again another half. Flip it to the other side. We're just cutting away some of the bulk. And now look at this. This is how it goes in. These go on the inside. We're going to glue them down on both sides just like this and then it slips on. And what we like about this is you can actually make all different colors of the toppers and then you can interchange them and you won't add it till the very end. So let's go ahead and get this glued down. We're gonna use our tape once again. Going to put it right on the inside. Match up those lines. That's very important. Now look, bring in your box and you simply slide this on the top. Now, it's up to you. You can either just put some tape right down here and then Hold it down to tape it to your box, or if you haven't really decided which topper you want to use, you might save that to the very end. But let's go ahead and get this decorated, right? We've cut out some strips of paper, just some coordinating paper to give it some more color. So we're going to lay down this strip of paper, and I'm keeping it on the card holder right now just to make it more stable. And next, we're going to bring in the same color that's on the box. We're going to go ahead and lay that down just to give it some added color and also some stability on the top, right? And now we're going to decorate the top. This is the fun part. So we are going to use the Forever Always stamp set. We love these flowers and these leaves. So I've already stamped some flowers and I want to show you how I'm going to blend them. I'm going to bring in my pumpkin pie and I'm using the dark color and I'm just going over the bottom where it's really already kind of defined for you with those lines and I'm going to put a little bit at the top. And now I'm going to bring in my light mango. And I'm just going to go over those lines so that we can diminish 
that just a little bit so that it blends better and it really blends from one color to the next. You can just keep going over it until it gets as light as you want and if it gets too light you can always go back in and bring back in some more of that pumpkin pie. And then I'm going to bring in crumb cake just to color the inside of it. Now at this point if you wanted to you could also bring in your wink of Stella and you could add some glitter to it to shine it up a little bit. And look at this. Isn't that pretty? Now you would also color your smaller flowers exactly the same way. And then you would bring in your leaves, and I use a two-tone for the leaves as well. And I have a great trick for you. So we have our flowers here. Now if you bring this in, and you're trying to put your flowers, let's see how we want it. Maybe we'll put it like this. And you can see how they move around, right? And it's hard to get it exactly where you want it. And then you have to go, okay, now I have to remember exactly how I placed it. Well, Maudi came up with a fantastic tip. So get ready. Take a strip of paper and line your flowers up exactly the way you want it. Now you'll want to raise it on dimensionals. So we're going to go ahead and grab a dimensional and put it right on our flower. And we are going to set it on this strip right where we want it. Okay, there's our first one. Now we want our second flower. Where do we want it? Well, I think I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to get myself another dimensional. Just put it on the back. And we will get it right where we need it, right there. And now we can simply add our leaves to the back of this, right? So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this one, just a little bit. And I'm going to add it right to the flower. Then I'm going to take another one. And a really good tip when you have leaves this small, go ahead and use the middle of your fingernail and crease it just a little bit to give you some added dimension to those flowers. It just really makes all the difference. You'll see. We're going to add this one about right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use my fingernail and crease that just a little bit just to give it some more dimension. There we go. And now we need one maybe over here, or maybe two. So let's go ahead and crease it just a little bit. Just brings it into that 3D arena, doesn't it? Now, now this is so much easier to place right here. You are not going to see this strip at all because we're going to come in with our sentiment and we decided to go ahead and stamp it's your day enjoy it and we double layered it and just cut around it and so we are going to put this right here and now all of a sudden we can glue this down and just put this exactly where we need it and you don't have to have everything falling off your box now what you could do if you wanted to is you could cut this off after you create your flowers that way you could just put your flowers on and if you wanted to set this up further you could do that if you wanted to slant it you could do that as well but let's go ahead and get these flowers down now I'm going to go ahead and raise them up on dimensionals and set this right down right where we want it Look at that. And now we're going to come in with our sentiment. We're going to set it right up on top of that flower. Let's see. Let 
Now look at that. Look at that beautiful box. Very quick to create. You can interchange this top part off. You can put another one on that you might want. And let's go ahead and put some cards in there. Now this was from our paper pumpkin video that we have that we'll link at the bottom of this video. Look at that. The cards fit perfectly. It's not too tight. They slip right out. Now let me bring in the strawberry one that we made. Look at this one. Those strawberries are so pretty. We love this two stamp process. Made a very quick card holder. And remember I said I was going to show you this forever fern. Look at this. Oh my goodness, we used that same process. We put a strip behind here so that we could organize all our ferns exactly the way we wanted them before we added it to the top. And once again, you can pull this off until you are ready to secure it. And you can simply secure it by just putting a little glue tape right there, a little strip, maybe a tearing tape right there underneath. But that way you are able to Switch them around. We hope you enjoyed watching us make these card holders. They are so fast and what we really love about them is that you can interchange the top part of them in case you want to make a lot of those and, and try out the different color schemes. It works so well. Go out, be safe, be healthy, be creative in your crafting, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.